15 of the Van Build series. That is uh, as many episodes as a TV series. So I think season one of Van Build is uh, is complete and on to the next one. Uh, busy summer. We've made a long ways, and now it's snowing. Yeah, it's the first day of snow. Today is the 17th of October. So that pretty much sums up Duluth right there for you. So now we get to test out the insulation, see how we did there. And um, we have a good foundation to start really getting a solid interior mm -hmm. done this winter. Yeah, so today this episode is us doing the closet and we have a surprise later on in the video, kind of. Mm -hmm. Woo, you'll just have to watch and see. <laughs> Find out. <laughs> so this is going to be the divider right here of our office space. And um, we have this part that I'm sitting in measured out for um, the exact measurement that the fridge is going to need to go here. And then the rest is just going to be drawer space. But I'm using this handy dandy thing that my dad made for us. And I'm gonna measure the curve on the back of this panel. So I'm just holding it and I'm starting from the top and pushing it all the way against the wall here. And then I'm just gonna go down. And I'm making sure it's always against the wall like it's gonna go down. So this right here, this line that I just made, is gonna measure the curve that should make it go flush up against the wall. So, see how I did. We have everything dry fit right now. This needs to get put in. And then we put two, these are two by twos, another two by two here, and we ran out of two by two, so we just did a two by three back there to help support it and then we're going to do that same kind of skeleton on the top to help support the countertop. So we're going to screw these in and then start on the top. Pre-drilling right now. Since we're going to be going into the hardwood floors, we want to make sure we don't split the wood. some pocket jig holes underneath there and then we'll just put one in the front here and then two longer ones right over there and then we'll be good to put the countertop on. side but before we do that to make our measuring process a little easier we're gonna put on the countertop which brings us to our surprise we what was that just today we decided we decided well yeah due to complicate it's a complicated thing. it's a complicated story we've been going back and forth between getting this countertop for probably since we got the van or even before we got the van when we were just like pre-planning but we got the countertop today, so we're gonna show you what we got. Mm -hmm. How is it? Tell me. I think it looks freaking amazing. 
So, obviously, you can see it comes out way too far right here. So we're gonna cut the back of it so you can't see it. Obviously the back will be pushed up against the wall so you won't be able to see it. But we're gonna cut it down a few inches. It comes as, this butcher block dimensions are 50 by 25 by one and a half. Hey! Watch where you're walking, mate! We're about to crack it! <laughs> <laughs> About to crack it! <laughs> Ready, set, crack! <laughs> crack! <laughs> Alright, so that's how you crack the Aurora. Two by threes. <laughs> Aurora! Aurora! Crack! <laughs> we have the top frame ready. The bottom frame was already done. Now, boy, is going to put on the butcher block. So there is this little crack here um, because this wall is not straight, obviously. So we're just going to fill that once, or when we with the backsplash, basically. So you're not going to see that, but it's great. So. Uh, even though we just bought this, it is too deep for the counters that we want. So we are going to cut it, which is really sad. But basically how we're doing it is we set this up as a guide, but you can kind of see in the butcher block it has like sections of wood, and we're cutting off three of those sections. So this is the piece that we cut off, and then this is the counter we're using. So we're definitely going to repurpose this, not totally sure with what yet, but we got it. Mm -hmm. okay. Alright, so before we, in, yeah. before we install yeah. this butcher block countertop, you have to um, season it basically, or like prime it. Um, so we got this cutting board oil that is specifically for butcher blocks, cutting boards, or other like wooden kitchen utensils. So it's like food grade and it's basically 100% um, food grade mineral oil enriched with vitamin E. So we are going to um, put that all over this, let it sit for 20 minutes, and then wipe off the excess, and then you flip it over into the other side. So this is the bottom, so we're doing this one first, so then once we have it finished, we can go ahead, bring it in the van with the bottom done, and then install it, and then do the top while we wait so we can kind of get the office space done for tonight so we don't have to wait even longer. So you need to, we got these, um, they're basically paper towels, but they're a little bit thicker. They're specifically for like paint and stain projects, or in this case, oil. Um, but it's specifically for like priming surfaces, that kind of stuff. So we are going to, I'm basically going to drizzle this everywhere all over the board and then um, kind of rub it in with these towels and then wait the 20 minutes and wipe off the excess. And then you also have to do the edges as well. So I'll do a quick run through of those. So I'm just doing about this much right now. And then we'll kind of see how it goes as I rub it in. But you also need to rub it in against, or with the grain, it said. So the camera had cut out, but I did oil all the sides. And then, um, which isn't that big of a deal because you're only really going to be seeing two of them. Um, the other two are going to be closed off by the counter or the cabinet and then um, the wall, but you still want to prime them just in case. And then, so now we're just letting this sit for 20 minutes. It said to wipe off any excess, but I didn't use too much, so I don't think we're gonna have excess. But um, yeah, we'll just let this sit for 20 minutes. So we brought it in the van, and now 
Chipotle and I each have our own towel. We're gonna do this side a little bit more liberally because it's gonna be on the top, but um, that's fine. It also looks like I need to redo this side a little bit more and I'll probably do this side yeah, just so well sure. again. But this side we're gonna do a lot more, so. We will be using this cutting board oil um, probably you, at least once or twice a month while we're in the van just to keep our butcher blocks nice and pretty and clean and in the condition that they should be in. There also was a cutting board conditioner that has beeswax and another type of wax with this oil in it that we'll probably be getting in the future once we start using them to cook on and do stuff, but we just decided to get this oil first. Lloyd and I got these vent cover cushion things that are stoned. <laughs> they are squishy little covers that go up in the fans so we don't have to be feeling the cold draft that comes in from there. All right, while well, we have it conditioning with the oil, we are gonna go ahead and screw it in. There it is, y'all. Uh, day complete and mission complete as far as putting in this desk. Mm -hmm. So we did it. Like and subscribe. Ring the bell to get notifications when we post every Sunday. And we'll see you next week. In the next one. In the next one.